Hey, 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 everybody. Brandon Beliso here. It is Friday and uh, success never sleeps, right? That's what it's all about. We had to move it to 1 p.m. today because my son had his championship basketball game in the Warriors camp and they won and my son won the award for the best hustler, the most hustling. Yeah. He hustled harder than anyone. And that's what I teach. Success never sleeps. Be relentless. I instill it in my son. I will instill it in you as well. That's what I believe is the key. You know, my papa taught me that at a young age. He came over here during a very challenging time in our country in the 50s on a boat from the Philippines. And at that time, because of the prejudice and racism, he said they were smarter than me. They were richer than me and they were wider than me. But none of them could outwork me. And he worked his way into, you know, being a millionaire. So that's the one thing I'm very, very passionate about is good work ethic, right? And that's my my little rant on that today. So what is this? Friday, Success Never Sleeps. I'm Brandon Belisa. We are presented by who? My studio, the app, Market Muscles, Kids Love Life Skills, the best in child's uh, character development and LC accounting. If you need a great bookkeeper, talk to my sister. So as you come aboard, say hello, hello. What are we giving away today? Uh, put in your name, the name of your school, where you're tuning in from. We're giving away 30 days free of e-learning products. Everything I've ever done that's been recorded. Every it's time live, it's time again, it's time empowered, it's time, to, it's time, 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 and time again. You have access to it for 30 days. 56 hours of learning is what we figured, 56 hours of learning. So put in your name, put in where you're tuning in from in the name of your school, because we're all about learning. I believe learners are earners. And as long as I'm constantly learning, but learning the right things, like I don't wanna learn how to sheetrock a wall, because that's not what I need. I'm not gonna learn how to uh, rebuild an engine, because that's not what I need. But I will learn the things to help me fulfill my version of success. And my purpose is to help people live their best life, right? So whether it's an individual through coaching or mentoring, whether it's a small business, whether it's a company, my sole purpose in this world is to help everybody live your best life. And I do that through reading, research, application, and of course, working with people. To teach something is to learn it twice. So learners are earners. As long as you're learning the right things to help you be a better version of yourself and improve your personal life and your business, then you're on the right track. So what do we give away today? 56 hours of learning. All e-learning products you can watch. Somebody said they're ready. Who purchased it said they've already. Um, let me try to shut this phone off. What's going on here? Come everyone's talking to me and talking to me. I thought I silenced it, but I guess I, I didn't. And so everybody um, that has been watching the videos have said to me, hey, man, this is great information. I've already plowed through 10 hours. You know, the big thing is make sure you're looking for those nuggets that fit your version of success and that you can take action on immediately. Because honestly, knowledge is useless without application. And application is where the wisdom lies. When you apply it, when you fully integrate it into your business and your life, you will gain the wisdom to decide, hey, is this a good fit for me? Does this really work? And I don't have all the answers, but I have a lot of answers and you have to find the ones that fit for you and work for you. Cool. So as you come on board, say hello, say hello. Who do we have over here today? Instagram. Tell me the name of your school where you're tuning in from. Chris, what's happening, Chris? Good to see you there. We got Chris today. We got Steph today. James Matthew, what's happening? Feel me, sir. Thank you. Adam Parker, Lee Douglas. Ah, from West Coast Krav Maga in the UK. Right on, Lee. Grateful to have you. Hopefully you choose to join us next year. We're going to be in Mallorca, Spain. Mallorca, Spain for It's Time Live Europe. Man, I, I mean, I'm still pinching myself. Me, Melody Johnson, and Roland Osborne. Man, that's a trifecta there of ind industry knowledge, of innovation, of wisdom that, that I would want to be there. Hey, I'm going to be there, huh? It's pretty cool. And our special guest will be Steven Reinstein. He is the Jimi Hendrix of web design. He's on the edge of social media out on the outer fringes. I could see him with a couple of earbuds and uh, his skateboard, skateboarding through life, just contemplating website design and, and coming up with something new. Hopefully he'll fly on here. He normally does. He checks in. Hey, Steph. Yeah, you've been working your buns up, but it's good to have you back, Steph. All right. So. What's the subject today? Retention by design. So what I want you to take out a piece of paper, please. Everybody done that? 
Take out a piece of paper and have something to write with. So let's talk about retention. I want you to write down your definition of retention. Okay, to retain something. All right, that's that's the general term. But how do you how do you view retention? Good evening, disruptors. Svetlana Allison. Svetlana, am I saying that right? Where are you tuning in from? Because it's daytime here, Svetlana. Are you tuning in from somewhere in, in Europe? Where are you tuning in from? Yep, it's all for the betterment of your school. Good job, ma'am. Instagram, talk to me. Somebody tell me, how do we define retention? What does that mean? To retain something, to keep something. What, what does that mean to you? Retention. Hey, Chris is sharing. He's, he's it's awesome. He's one third of the way through my e-learning products. We did this outrageous sale where he gave away all 56 hours for 99 bucks. 30 days though. All you got is 30 days to watch it. You can buy it again after that, but you got 30 days. Cool. And of course, there's the link for It's Time Live Europe, man. We're going to be there and you want to be there too. Cool, cool, cool. London. All right, Svetlana. Good to have you aboard. So retention. How do we define that? Somebody put it in. How do you define retention? Adam Parker's asking, yo, Lee Douglas, what part of the UK are you in? You guys can have that conversation off, off the show. <laughs> All right. All right. So talk to me. What is retention? To retain something? Retention. Okay, good. Steph, retention equals putting effort into keeping something you acquired. Okay. Something you acquired. So we acquire a student and then we put in the effort to keep that student as a student. I like that. Okay. We'll look at that as retention. Anybody else want to add to that? Retention. Somebody at Instagram. Come on, is anybody at Instagram? Talk to us today. Retention, retention is the subject. Okay, I'm looking for more answers. And while you do that, I'm going to share with you. Retention to me is about one, deciding this is a relationship you want to be in. And then two, you invest in it relentlessly. Think about it. You know, I've been married 12 years. I kiss my wife every day like it was the first time I've ever kissed her. That is my purpose, right? So it has to have intent, it has to have purpose, mindfulness. There's a lot of elements that go into that. Because for me, retention is about investing in a relationship that you and the other person deem of value, right? Of value. So just think about that for a minute. And that's why I'm not very big on sales. Sales is not a good thing for me. I don't believe I'm investing in a relationship when I'm selling something to people. I'm selling them a product where really the true product for me and our culture is the relationship. And you've heard me say that many, many times when Virginia brought that to light at It's Time Live Empowered. She says, I, you know what I realized? The product is not martial arts. The product is the relationship. Absolutely, it is the relationship. So we're talking about retention now. Let's see what K1's got for us. Retention, number one, the continued possession, use, or control of something. Control's a bad word. I don't like that. Possession. I possess you. I control you. So that's why I, I want to disrupt this true definition of, of retention. And let's disrupt it so they can really, really take retention by design and enhance it in our business. Two, the continued possession, use, or control of something. Or three, the action of absorbing and continuing to hold the substance. Right. Think of some of those words, control, possess, right? Control and possess. Think about that. You're not even a person. You're a substance. We're going to hold you like a substance, right? Think about that for a minute. And that's, that's, that's the behavioral issue we have in this industry. So what do we do when somebody wants to quit? We don't let them. We have a 90 day cancellation policy. I'm going to control you. I'm mean, like a substance for 90 days until you renew, resign, or and if you finally quit, well then I'll hate you forever and 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 you know ban you from my karate school, right? Strip you of your belt, whatever. Um, so th that's not a good one for me. That's not a good one at all. All right. So let's eliminate words like control and possess. You can't possess another human being, right? You can't control another human being. And when people think that way, the way, 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 left, left, left of center of that is somebody that stalks you, somebody that won't let you break up with them. And I've seen that where I've opted out of people's lists or, or I've stopped doing business and then they send me 50,000 emails, right? And they follow up with phone calls and letters, you know, trying to get my business back because they understand it takes six, six times more advertising dollar to get a new client than keep the existing one. 
So they'll do anything. They'll say anything. And that's not healthy. Think about it. In a relationship, do you want to be desperate? Nah, man, desperation is not a good place to, to operate from. And when we come off that way, when somebody wants to quit and say, no, you can't quit. We have a 90 day cancel. What is that? What is that? So can we open our mind and disrupt it a little bit and look at retention as instead of possession and control? That's the true definition, right? The true definition, possession and control to more of what? Investing in a relationship that we deem is valuable. I want to invest in that relationship. And I'm grateful you're here for a day. I'm grateful you're here for a month. I'm grateful you're here for a year. If you choose to leave any time in there, I'm grateful you are here. And that sense of love, I think, creates an open, organic relationship where two people can communicate better, where you can always be on. But if I'm afraid of losing you, I'm not going to say things transparently. I'm not going to say things honestly, right? I'm going to be a smoke and mirrors. What, I, what can I do to keep you? What can I do to control and possess you, right? That's the way retention is defined. So think about that for a moment. Is that a relationship you would like to be in? What do you think, folks? What do you think? Ah, uh, Jason, this is pretty cool. Restention is about keeping a high value standard of the relationship between you and another. Cool, cool. Uh, Virginia, what's happening? Retention equals relationship defined by trust. I like that. Relationship defined by trust. That's retention. Building a long-term relationship um, so you can continue to inspire people. Lee, I love the word long-term. I recognize that. Um, that's very important for me. I'm into this for the long haul. I want to invite, well, you know, well, what if they quit after the four week trial? At least no, I know I was investing for a long term relationship. That's one of the reasons by design, retention by design, we do a four week trial. We don't do a one class intro. We don't do a two class intro. We choose to do four weeks. Six weeks we felt was too long. We feel in four weeks. You come to what, at least eight classes, you sit in the waiting area, you talk to other parents and build that relationship. You get to know our instructors, your child's immersed in our program, they'll earn three life skills badges and two stripes towards their solid yellow belt. And hopefully they come to one of our community events, whether it's a parent's night out or a buddy day or anything of that nature. Because really every step we take is about investing in the relationship, right? Long-term. So we all agree upon that. Long term, it's an investment, it's trust, right? There's nothing to do with possession or control. The true definition, to retain, to possess, to control. It's so negative and it's so one-sided. It's not a relationship I want to be in. You feel me? And who's ever dated somebody like that? That's pretty psycho stuff if you think about it. <coughs> hmm. Okay, so we have that mind shift. So that's the first thing I want you to analyze by design. What type of trial process do you do? Okay. What is your trial process? The hard part, and this is the hard part about four, four weeks, is can you own it for a full eight classes? Can you own it? Pass those eight classes, right? What do we do? A lot of sizzle up front, as they say in the sales industry. Give them the sizzle, man. Give them the sizzle. So we limit that to a 30-minute private, right, or two 30-minute intros, or two weeks in a t-shirt and we sizzle, 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 blind them with sizzle, sizzle. And then you get them to sign and commit. And then after that, they're stuck. Six months, one year. Some guys said, I do a seven month contract. Uh, I don't know when that all of a sudden became the sweet point, but now it's the big thing. Seven months, that's your commitment. That's a sweet spot, right? I don't think so. I don't think so. I have a seven-year-old and a 10-year-old. I'm committed to coming to you one class at a time. And when I don't like it anymore, when I'm done, I should be free to leave. Because last time I looked, this was America, right? I believe people in America can leave when they want to leave. And it should be that way. And I know people call me, you know, they get mad at me about that because I am the disruptor. But let's just take it upon relationships. Because if I invest in the relationship of trust, right, long term, I have a better chance of retaining you for a long time. You feel me? That's really important. We had a mom the other day and I thought it was so beautiful. Her son's in the camp. He does private lessons. He does sparring classes. And I'm talking to a client about something or another. Oh, a parent. To a parent and their kids about camp. And in she walks in with a cup of hot honey lemon green tea. And she sets it in front of me and says, this is for you, professor. And I take it. And I go, thank you so much, ma'am. And this is one of our parents. She doesn't have to do that. But we've invested in that relationship in many, many ways to help create the, the trust that we have today. 
You feel me? And each relationship is uniquely different. That's why I'm not big on sales scripts. Sales scripts are designed for this funnel. We say these things 50,000 times the same way we're playing a numbers game. Odds are someone's going to sign up. But imagine if I'm forced to throw out the script and really trust that what I'm offering is of great value. That's why, you know, knowing your why, understanding your purpose, understanding your culture, and then bringing in people that get it, for the lack of the better word, drink the Kool-Aid, and they get that vision. They're all about service. Ours is live your best life. They're all about serving people and helping them live their best life. Guess what? They don't need a sales script because they'll sit there at a heart level, connecting with people emotionally. And why is that so super important? Because people buy from emotion. Look at the stock market. Look at those impulse buys. People buy from emotion. They do not buy from this sterile scripted sales script. You know that. You know that the standard one on the phone with the sales marketer. How's the weather out there in California? <laughs> oh, God. And you know they're reading from a script. They're reading from, and I did that one time. I knew they were reading from the script. And so in the middle of it, I went, you know, Scooby-Doo eats Cocoa Puffs. And she goes, what? Uh, what, sir? I said, Scooby-Doo eats Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> And I threw off her script and I just said, ma'am, just talk to me. I, I know this call's being monitored and I know your supervisor's probably looking through a little camera up there in the corner of the room, making sure you follow the script verbatim. But I'm gonna tell you, we have no connection because I know it's a sales script. You don't care about me. You don't care about what I feel. You don't care about what hurts me. All you care about is making a sale. And if you don't get it with me, you go on to the next and the next. I understand that it's a numbers game. Well, guess what? A relationship is not a numbers game. Write that one down. It is not a numbers game, okay? So think about that passionately. Eric wants to share. Hey, Eric, the Disney experience each and every class, not just during the trial, ensures retention. I agree with you. From another disruptor, Eric, thank you. You know, can we do it past eight classes? Can we do that Disney experience each and every class, not just during the trial, ensures retention, ensures that the back door is shut? I agree with you, Eric, but it really is a mindset, is it not? It is it is a mindset to be relentless day in and day out, 24-7, 365. Can you put on that uniform each and every class and go Disney experience? It's all about the relationship. I will invest in this relationship today. Not going to do that getting mad at you if you don't practice. I'm not going to do that if I single you out in a class and embarrass you in front of someone. So I'm not going to do that if I take a power ego seat and behave like, you know, you have to do as I say because I'm the master. None of that promotes retention. If anything, it promotes negativity, right? So even that. So I feel you on that, Eric. So take a look at your intro process, first of all, and decide, does it invest in the long-term relationship of trust? Okay, that's retention for me. You know, I'm investing constantly in a long-term relationship of trust. Does your intro process serve that? Four weeks for us is what we feel is a great, great entry point. Think if you date somebody for four weeks. Won't you know after four weeks, human nature, whether you want to keep dating them or not? The k ones nodding his head because he agrees, right? I've been married for 12 years. You know, he's a single guy, so it's different. Four weeks is that window, right? four weeks. And if you don't have to four weeks, if we're going to go on another date or not, then you're not even in the room, right? So think about that for a moment. Four weeks is the sweet spot for us. And then even after that, to wow them, could you imagine that? I mean, that's kind of insane. Think about that for a minute. Even if we do a four week trial then after four weeks, you know, we're out having some dinner. I go, Hey babe, you know, what do you think? We've been dating for four weeks. I, I really like this. How about you? Oh yeah. I, I want to keep dating you. Cool. So in order to date me, you have to sign a seven month contract and it's binding and you can't get out of it because you know what, what we teach, it's all about commitment. And I want to teach you about commitment. So you have to sign a seven month contract. How's that sound? And, and if you want out of it, there's a 90 day cancellation. So you got to date me another 90 days if you want out of that relationship. See, when I put it that way, it sounds ludicrous. So that's where we said, okay, what's the best way to retain the student Disney experience, right? You do this great four weeks and all of that's planned out. Every class, you walk that student to the edge of the mat. Every class, you you know, you give that parent an update report on how great their child's doing. We highlight and spotlight that kid in class. We make sure that curriculum from white belt to yellow belt is great, learnable for brand new students, right? And as much as we can give you one-on-one -on -one time, we do that as well. So when we talk about that trial experience, and that's a big one, 
right? That's a big one because getting them in the door is a whole nother thing. Me and Cameron were having that conversation as we sort out our social media and we want to get better, right? Once you get them there, though, if you don't have the right program in place, the right connection, the right experience, they're done. That four weeks is wasted time and wasted money. It absolutely is because they're not converting. So the goal is we want them to convert and we don't convert with a sales script. You know how we convert? By really being mindful. What is my purpose each and every class? My purpose is to serve you, to help you live your best life. That's it. All day, every day. That's what we do. Pretty simple. I think so. So with that said, going back to our trial, think about your trial for a minute. Think about that. Is it investing in a long-term relationship of trust? That's what you guys said to me. I just took bits and pieces, what everybody defined as retention. So investing in a long-term relationship of trust. How can you possibly accomplish that? Well, as I said, four weeks for us works. Figure out what's going on for you. And then after those four weeks, my commitment is I'm going to wow you each and every day. I don't need a contract to keep you here. I will wow you where you'll want to stay on your own. You're going to beg me to sign a year contract. Just like my wife begged me to marry her. <laughs> no, she didn't. I actually, I'm the one who got down and when I kept hounding her. But you, you see where I'm going with that? See, that, that, that that's important. So again, disrupt disrupt your mindset, right? See if you can disrupt your mindset on that. Take a shift, right? Take a shift on that and see see how you feel. Cool? Adam's saying, we normally do one free class, then prorate the rest of the month. But sometimes like today, we would give an unsure kid, shy as he wants to be out there to join to join in, good. Then we'll let them watch free until they complete one full class. We have no contracts, just monthly tuition and grading fee when they come to grade, optional and, and uniform not needed till first grading means no long-term commitment until first grading. Okay, cool. Yeah, retention, a long-term, no, investing in a long-term relationship of trust. That would be more accurate. All right, so look at your, your because you know, if we can't convert our trials and we're always, adjusting that because the trends change, people change, climates change, things change. Like for summertime, you know, we find that the three month, we do three $99 combined for two ninety nine. dollars That goes all summer long for us because people can see that. I can see through the summer. That's all I can see because the new school year is going to be crazy, et cetera, et cetera. How many of you get that from a parent? Well, you know, um, right after camp, we're going after all the four to six year olds. Well, we want to get them in school first and get them acclimated, get them settled in. And then we'll think about continuing with the lessons. We've all heard that. It happens all the time, all the time. So for us, we found we get a lot more people signing up for the three month special because it's three months. Summer is three months. It's three months. It's three months. We don't pause for vacations or anything because it is $99 a month. But hey, at $99 a month, if I'm gone for two weeks on vacation, so be it. I'm going to buy three months at $299. You feel me? So that works for us. Let's see what Chris has to say. One thing I do for retention, an awesome video that I send my students personalized to them. And it's a hit over the past few months since I came up with the idea. So with your brand new trial, you send them a video saying, hey, you're really, really awesome. Or is this just to all your students, Chris? Because I, I, I could see that, you know, video does a lot better. You know, I, I know we all want to believe and I still believe in this. Children never get mail. So for a kid to get a postcard in the mail saying, you know, awesome job and it's signed and filled out by hand by the instructor, I still think that carries a lot of weight because kids do not get mail. They can open up YouTube right now, Chris, and just be inundated with videos for hours and hours and hours. But I like that idea too. But I think I would take that a step further. Chris, maybe I would send that to the cell phone. Maybe you should experiment with that, K1. We're going to shoot videos. You know, when a kid signs up, you're super awesome. And then send it to the parent. Because the parent should be screening that, right? You don't be sending a video to a kid that's inappropriate by itself. So I would send it to the parent and maybe highlighting, hey, Johnny, it's really awesome. You earned your yellow stripe today in class. I really liked how you bent your knee on the front kick and you key-eyed really loud and showed great karate spirit. That's why I, I, I awarded you the spirit batch today in class. Keep up the great work. I could see that. I could see that all day, every day. If my instructors have carte blanche to do that and they could post it publicly at Facebook or Instagram or personalize it and go straight to the parent's cell phone. Yeah, I like that, Chris. But let's disrupt that and take it to another level, a whole nother level. Cool? I like all the ideas coming in, folks. So we always talk about retention, uh, about closing the back door. And, and the reason that needs to be your focus is because we're so fixated. 
I have to get 10 new students. I have to get 10 new students. You know why you have to get 10 new students? Because you lost 10 students. How many of you have hit those points? 100, 150, you know, 175, 200, and then you just hit a ceiling and your school gets stuck and it doesn't grow because you're doing the same old thing, right? Retention isn't about doing what I did at 50 students. Retention is about amplifying that when I'm at 100, 150, 200. I'm just amplifying and amplifying and bettering that. Cool? So be really mindful of that. All right, Chris does a postcard too, see? And awesome video for a white belt. And it's sent to the parents and it says special message for Johnny. Post that on our disruptor page, Chris. We'd love to see the postcard, sir. And we would love to see one of the videos, right? I think it's a great idea, Chris. It's a great idea. Um, the goal is for everybody is to make that fit your culture, right? Fit the culture of what you're doing. Cool? So we've gone through that. Let's talk about closing that back door. Because when people ask me, you know, how do you get 10 more students? Well, I don't think that's the question you should be asking. The question you should be asking is how do I close that back door? We've heard it a million times, so it's nothing new, but I just wanna share it with you, okay? Number one, teach better classes. So how do I teach better classes? Well, first of all, you should be reviewing that curriculum regularly. We just had a Slack conversation about that, you know, upping our sparring classes. Sometimes we'll review with curriculum in our sparring classes and it's not meant for that. That class is meant for sparring. So I think we would improve our sparring retention if we made the 45 minute class all sparring, all sparring. Oh, that, but they, you know, they're trying to teach a lot of curriculum. Well, we have a thing in place. We have a practice class every Saturday at 8 a.m. at one location, 8.30 at the other. That's retention. Come to your sparring class, but you better, you know, think about picking up this extra class. And also, we have really great instructional videos. Those instruction videos are great retention. I was in San Francisco the other day, and there was an adult class going on. And I looked at this orange belt, and she was amazing, this woman. And I told her so. And she goes, I recognize you from the videos. So that was a retention. I wanted to keep my legacy and my teaching involved with all of our students. And, and you know, with a thousand, that's hard to do. So for retention, I made sure to do all those curriculum videos. Cool. And she watches them and she's really, really good. So that's another form of retention. So everything, and that's an investment, investing in a long-term relationship of trust. Great. If I have curriculum videos to help you train better, Am I investing in that relationship? I think so. Do I earn your trust because my curriculum is so well thought out that the instructional videos reflect instruction and they're not demo videos, right? There you go. There you go. So that's retention within itself. Taking time. I was in San Francisco. I wasn't in a uniform to walk onto that mat and just say hello to this person really quickly and introduce myself and tell them how amazing they are. Is that retention? Absolutely. Lo and behold, I find out later on her and her two kids are training with us. How blessed are we? How blessed are we? So again, what are we discussing? In investing in a long-term relationship of trust, okay? That's what we've narrowed it down to. Good, Chris is gonna put that up. Thank you, Chris. Nathan can too, interested as well, Chris. Yeah, so we'll put that up, Nathan. And it doesn't take long to shoot a video. It doesn't. A quick, and it's always great if it can come from uh, the head of the school, but the challenge with that, it's a huge disconnect. If K1 works with a student in a class and then I turn on and post a video, hey, Johnny, it was really awesome. You did great today earning your yellow stripe. There's a huge disconnect there because the hopefully K1 talked to the student, walked the student over at the end of the class. K1 said to the mom, man, he was so awesome today in class. Boom. And to back that up later with a video, super cool. You know when that video would be really great for retention? For that drop off and pick up mom. Wow, you ever see those parents that drop off their kids and never come in? And don't make it mandatory. Somebody said that. I make it mandatory. The parent must come in. You must come in and watch your child's class. It's mandatory. Hey, I only have so many hours in a day. I need to go pick up the other kid at soccer and grab some dinner. Can you cut me some freaking slack? So I'm not into that. I'm just not. But could you imagine that? Hey, moms, sorry we missed you today in class, but uh, just wanted to let you know, little Susie, she earned her yellow stripe and she was awesome and earned the pride badge for it. And I sent her home with a student parent handout for pride. Could you please read through it with her? Boom. Or on the other end, hey, mom, Johnny had a tough day to, today in class and um, he didn't earn his yellow stripe. We did our best. Johnny did his best, but he needs to work more with the curriculum videos. And I highly suggest come to our practice class at, you know, 830 in the morning. Oh, so it can be used that way as well. Think about that. Think about that. So video is, is really the top form of communication. Look what we're doing right now. What are we doing right now? Imagine this was, this was all typed out in an email to you. How boring would that be? You wouldn't get to see my good looking face, right? What about that? 
I, I know I scare some of you, but that's a different conversation. All right, so there you go. See, everything I'm about is investing in a long-term relationship of trust. Okay, investing in a long-term relationship of trust. Let's go to black belt testing. You come in, demo teams dancing around, guys walking around the clipboard trying to sign up the sibling and everybody else. We watch this, you know, long slideshow and all this other stuff. And how does that promote retention? No, it's there to generate leads. I understand that. When we do our black belt test, guess what? It's a freaking plastic table and a metal chair and me. That's it. Parents come, grandparents are come. They're welcome to bring fruit and stuff after and have a small celebration. But our goal in retaining our students is to simulate testing as you would an SAT, as you would, you know, something at school. It's a test. It's a test. And I do say that if you prepare it properly, it's a celebration of all your hard work. But nonetheless, it's a test. And we have some of the highest retention in our school when it comes to our black belts. You know why? Because we create this environment that really makes them just go, ah. And you think it, it'd have to be something grandiose, right? A big screen TV, playing a slideshow of this kid to win beneath my wings or something like that. For us, it isn't. It's really about that experience. I sit there at a table for four to five hours testing these kids. And it is a brutal test. It is a hard test. And then lastly, we pay for the embroidered belt and we paid for the nice uh, <clears throat> diploma in a wooden frame. All of it is to create retention. And from that, when they roll in next week, they come back to class. Guess what? They earn their next tip like they did when they were white belt. We do two weeks, one tip. So none of that changes. So that's increased our black belt retention. Now we just redid our black belt prep. It used to be a four month cycle, but nobody was ready in four months. Two people out of 50 were ready in four months in black belt prep. And that was a horrible experience. We've had a couple of people quit because of it. So now we stretch it out to a year. And it's a much better Disney experience. And do I believe in a couple of years, once it's implemented, you know, and working for a while, a couple of cycles, will it improve our retention at Black Belt? Absolutely. All day, every day. Cool. Let's see what Lee has to say. Lee, how do you feel about calling students if they do not turn up uh, to a class. My team feels it's too intrusive, but I think it helps with building a relationship as long as there's some value to the call. What would would be good to hear your views? You know, I'm going to give you my example. When we used to do birthday parties, before the birthday party where we're setting up, I got this from the team all the time. Professor, do we have to wear a uniform? Uh, yes, you do. Put it on because every... Uh, marketer in the martial arts industry tells me that we must sell martial arts classes when we do birthday parties. So put on your uniform. Next time party rolls around. Professor, do we have to wear a uniform? Oh yes, you do. And, and what I got after a while, you know, with that Lee is I want my team to be happy as well. And what they were trying to say is there's a big gap between running a birthday party and training in the martial arts. And Unless we're going to simply do a martial arts class for an hour to sell leads and get signups, then wearing a uniform is really useless. But more so than that, Lee, you know what it was? Listening to my team. Because if my team wins and my clients win, Lee, I have freedom. If my clients win and my team lose, I have a pissed off team. People are quitting. Nobody's happy. Or they come to work disempowered and not wanting to be there. Think about how they feel if they're telling you collectively, Lee, this is intrusive. We don't believe in it. So if they're telling you that, Lee, and they're forced to do that, think how many people come to work happy. They don't. I want a happy team. If I have a happy team, that happy team performs better, sir. They just do. Cool? So what I would ask them is then great. I'm trying to accomplish to show them that we care and we recognize they're, on, they're not in class. So tell me some suggestions, team that you think are an awesome way to stay connected with our students and parents when they miss a class. Some classes, some softwares I know, will send out an automatic survey every 11 classes. You might implement something like that, right? We have a we miss you postcard. Now we have to do it when we recognize somebody's not in class and send it. Before we had a, a system, but I'll tell you, my studio is gonna get that and they're gonna add that one in too right? Because they're adding stuff all the time. Because I think that that promotes retention. It's a huge retention. So you can have a survey that you send a survey out. You can track their attendance to know that they're missing Lee. You can send out, we miss you postcard. And ultimately, if you have that type of relationship, then call them up. 
you know, because what you'll normally get from mom is, oh, I'm sorry, I've just been really busy, soccer, you know, summer vacation, blah, 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 and it's done. But often, why do I think it's intrusive? Because what if, how can I say this politely? It's none of your business. There you go. It's none of your business. I pay for a membership. It's like the gym. Can you imagine the gym calling me up? It just wouldn't happen. Now, I understand an elementary school would call me that my kid wasn't in school today. I get that. And it's an automated message even. I don't get a person who just says, you know, you weren't in school today. So I don't think there's a right or wrong there, Lee. I think you just have to ask yourself truly, is it intrusive? Is it? And can you accomplish the same thing as the phone call, that Disney experience, Lee, that emotional connection? Can you accomplish that another way other than a phone call? Hmm. I think you can. So maybe somebody give some thoughts on that. Yeah, see, Adam's saying you could call or text. I think texting is acceptable. Eric, we call families if we don't see that child in class two times, saying we wanted to make sure they weren't sick. Yeah, and, and it could be something as simple as that. How about this email with a subject line? Are you okay? Well, I want to open that email, right? That's a good subject line. And then you just simply say, hey, just checking in, making sure everything's okay. We've missed you in class for the past you know, week or so, and we look forward to your return. Boom. If there's anything we can do to serve you better, please reach out and connect and leave a phone number, right? I like that. I like it. I just know I'm inundated with so many calls now, especially with telemarketers, that to get one more call from you as, as, as well-intended as it is, it's just not a good day, folks. Just not. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm rocking fast today. So, quick, quick, quick channel break here. This is Success Never Sleeps. I see a lot of people on board here. Hey, what's up, Super Wade Taylor over there at Instagram? Um, this is Success Never Sleeps. I am your host, Brandon Bleason. And who are we? Disruptor. We're dis disruptors. You got that up there? And we're presented by who? My Studio, the app. If you don't have this studio, if you don't have My Studio, the app, please get it. Market Muscles, you need one of their websites. Kids of Life Skills, you need their character development in your school. And Elsie Accounting, well, she's my bookkeeper. I'm, I'm going to keep her just for me. No. She works with Stephen Reinstein and several other people in the industry. Great bookkeeper. You should have one. That is a must. All right, let's go forward here. What do we got? Steph, I have sent texts the last two years. I always ask, are you okay? Is so-and-so okay? I'm just worried about you because I didn't see you in class. Cool. But then again, I am a very, very close relationship with most of my students. Absolutely, Steph. I get that. We can do that in a small school. Yeah, they will. We'll empower the team with their ideas. Yeah. And, and what we've learned, Lee, about working with millennials and Zs, they want input. They want their opinion to be valued, right? They want to contribute. That's very, very important. So if you want to produce that, that winning retention in your team so people aren't quitting, Every couple months, you know, give them autonomy. Invite them in, into the conversation. That's very important. Let me invite you into this conversation. I will even ask people that don't speak, you know, what do you think? You know, it's a good thing. Share this video stream if you want to be entered in today's drawing, okay? What are we giving away? 56 hours of my e-learning products. Every It's Time Live event I've ever done recorded with with. Hours and hours and hours of cutting edge, cutting edge knowledge, you know, and that's what I'm all about. Not what we're doing today, but what we're doing three years from now, five years from now. That's the power of innovation. Cool. Nathan, I do the email, but I'd like to try the text message. Yeah, I think text messaging is fine as well. That's the same as an email. And sometimes it's more personal. You know, we can do uh, we can do them physically. Imagine if you just batched it up in my studio. I'm going to go through all the A's. I'm going to check their attendance. And I see little Johnny hasn't been here for two weeks. Yeah, I can instantly hit him a, a two-way messaging. Hit him a text. Hey, Johnny, this is Professor Beliso. Hey, Johnny's mom. It's Professor Beliso, One Martial Arts. Just want to check in, make sure everything's okay. We're a bit concerned we haven't seen Johnny in class. Hope to see you soon. Boom, done day. Yeah, I like it. David, it should be more expensive than the bigger schools around me. Should I be more expensive than the bigger schools around me? You know, I think you should charge David what you believe you're worth. That's it, right? I have five, six schools around me, and I would believe we're the most expensive, and I'm not concerned about what they do. 
I'm concerned about what we do and recognizing the true value of what we do. But the thing is, David, can you communicate that value to people in your website, in your phone conversation, in your rack cards, in your classes where parents will go, I'll happily pay you that and a bag of potato chips, right? I think that's really what it comes down to, David, is thinking about your value. Never worry about what other people are doing in your community. Because ideally, David, you're not in competition with other martial arts schools, sir. You're in competition with swimming, gymnastics, you know, baseball, soccer, things of that nature. That's really what you're in competition with. You feel me? So what I would, going back to your question, though, um, recognize, do a demographic study, right? And ask yourself, what is the average household income? What can this family afford? Right? You don't want to outprice yourself, but you want to ask yourself, what can this family truly afford? And ideally, if you, you promote the value, not sell the value, but you promote the value with hello at the front door, you promote the value with waiting at the edge of the mat to tie a kid's belt, you promote the value by teaching an amazing class, you promote the value by highlighting and spotlighting, you promote the value by you know doing a, a mat chat in class, sir. And having a student parent hand out to back that up so the parent can take it home and educate their child on this life skill, that and a bag of potato chips, then sir, that's retention all the way. I can charge $209 a month for that. And I'm comfortable with that. Cool? Yeah, I hope that that's a kind of long answer. But if I'm focusing on should I be more expensive than the school down the street, I might want to rethink that just a little bit. Because you're only in competition with who? Yourself, sir. And only yourself. Boom, if you wanna start watching Brandon's video learning, start your 30 day subscription today for only $99. You can't beat it, you can't beat it, get it now. Get it now, I think I'm gonna go back and watch all of them. I never watch my stuff, by the way, I never do that. David, you have a great school, charge accordingly. I have only benefited from your classes. Hey, Steph's sharing it, David, there you go, sir. Okay, Adam, I'm in the UK. I charge around 45% less than the local MA schools, but no right or wrong. Depends on your target market and what you believe you're worth. Absolutely. And your values. That's a big one. Cool. All right. So stop a moment and think about that. You know, everything when we talk about retention, going back to closing that back door, we talked about teaching amazing classes, reviewing our curriculum all the time. And ask ourselves, is it age appropriate, skill level appropriate? And are we creating that Disney experience? Sweating, smiling, having fun, as Hanshi Kovar says, is something we stand by. If they're not sweating and smiling and having fun, they don't want to come back. Why would you? Why would you? I wouldn't. And the next, of course, is staff training. And I think the big thing with staff training, it's one of the most common questions I get. How do I recruit staff? How do, how do I hire staff? How do I keep staff? Well, I think, again, it's creating that culture. Right. And if you shift your mindset and stop looking at your staff as employees and looking at them as part of your team, your equal, they contribute to it. That's a huge mindset shift. It's huge. People that are there just for the money that are a paycheck player, they're not going to help your retention because they'll cut out when they want to. You know, they'll teach when they want to. And, and there's no report. It's no, it's no report because it's what it's about. It's the money. It's all about the money. So you want to be mindful of that too. So training that staff, recruiting that staff, uh, becoming a company you want to work for. Staff retention is huge on everybody's list. I had a conversation with one of my clients today. And I said, just got to ask yourself, do you want to lose them or not? Yeah, well, the raise is so huge. Then set up a two-year plan. If you want to jump from $10 an hour to $20 an hour, I need you to learn after school. I need you to learn kickboxing. I need you to learn birthdays. I need you to learn this, this, and this. And if you can prove that to me, sure. And next two years, I'll bump you up from 10 to $20, right? But everything I'm going to teach that person is retention-based, right? Chris Repult said retention-based sparring. I say re retention-based teaching, retention-based customer service, retention-based phone answering 101. It's all about retention. And what is it about? Not control and possession. It's about investing in a long-term relationship of trust. So everything you do has to earn that trust. Do as you say you're going to do, always. Always, always. At Harvard, I share that. My last line walking out the door after my presentation at Harvard was, always do the right thing. Always do the right thing. Because if you don't, they'll quit and they'll tell everybody else. You know me? So I think that's a huge part of retention for us, is I want to make sure my team wins. They win, they win, they win. So we honor their lives outside of the business. It's not uncommon for a young person to go, I can't work tomorrow. I got to go to my grandma's birthday. I forgot. Oh, okay, great. You can get mad about that, 
or you can be understanding and empathetic. That's really helped retention by design. Being understanding versus asking people to understand you. You got to understand me, you know, or the parents need to understand. We have to make them understand. No, we don't. We're the ones. We're in control of ourselves. We can become more understanding. So I think that's a huge retention tool. The life skill of empathy. Be understanding. A mom barrels in there late, pissing and moaning, just rude as can be. Does she intend to be rude? I don't think so. She's late. Her kid's mad. You know, so we don't make people do 20 push-ups. Or the guy who posted that he makes kids wear a frozen pink belt if you forget your belt. What is that? You freeze a pink belt and, and make the kid wear it. One, it's humility. Two, I think that's child abuse. Isn't that child abuse? Three, what are you saying? You're degrading women. So it's just a lose-lose all the way around. If I want to improve retention, you come in late. The first thing I have is empathy. You don't drive. Your parent drives. Second, hey, we're glad you're here today, sir. Come on into class. We've been waiting for you. That, to me, is retention-based. See, but you have to have the mindset. So all this has been about today is creating that mindset because you are architects. You're all architects of your business. So we still got about, ooh, 12 minutes left. Let's start with our takeaways. Give me your big takeaways on retention. Give me one new idea that we didn't talk about in the past hour that you were going to go after. Go, put it in. One, 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 one. And while you're doing that, I'll talk about a few upcoming things. In November, I have It's Time Live Ignite. You know, people asked for it by special request. We're going to do it November 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th. Stay for two days. I tell you, stay for four. It will be life-changing. It will be probably the most best investment you can make for yourself personally and professionally. It's Time Live Empowered, November 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th. Get signed up now. The hotel, we have a good rate on. It's locked in. Get that booked. Get it done. Get it done. Get it done. Cool. Hey, Conrad, what's happening, sir? I didn't know you were there. Provide the same. Provide your team and your students. Treat your team and your students like your family. Yeah, I agree with that, sir. Oh, no, no that was Steph's. Let's see. Oh, I love this. I love this, Conrad. Provide your same kind of service and understanding to your staff as you do your students. That's what I'm talking about, right? We got to get past I'm the master and you're the lowly student. Pay me for lessons, teach for free. And by the way, I'll let you clean the school too. And work weekends for free, birthday parties, all of it. Because you have to show you're loyal to me. I feel you, Conrad. I feel you. What else you got? Yep. Be understanding to your students and team's needs. Yep. Begin with the long-term in mind. And that's it, Lee. A thousand mile journey begins with a, a single step. I have to take those single steps every day, Lee, but I also recognize that I'm investing in every relationship long-term. When I open a business, I don't go for a two-year lease. I go for a big lease because I go for the size we want for a model. And I'm doing that right now. I'm trying to renegotiate a longer-term lease in our second location in Millbrae because we're happy. We like the relationship. So we want to take it to the next level. I get it. I get it. I get it. Right? So think long-term. Always think long-term. Okay, wants takeaway. People buy from emotion, not a sales script ever. Connect with them and walk them through the sales process versus selling them to sell them. Yeah, and that sales process really is just an education. And then I trust that I've given you value. I trust, so when I walk away from that, I don't have to call you 50 times. I don't have to send 50 emails. You know, the, here's my example. This was a great one. When we got new windows put in our home, and now we're going through a whole remodeling, so those twenty, thirty thousand dollars worth of windows are up or just gone. I don't want to think about it. Anyways, I had two people come to me. One was Milgard, one was Renewal by Anderson, and Renewal by Anderson is more expensive by about five grand, a lot more expensive, right? And the other guy was Milgard. She spent the time sharing why that product was more gas-filled windows, you know, a lifetime guarantee how there's the record of their service and their service calls, how low they are, but how prompt they are in responding, how they honor them. You know what this guy spent doing? Telling me his product may be cheaper, but it's better. That's what he kept harping on. 
my product might be you know cheaper than some of the other but it's better because abc and that was his whole sales script was centered around we're cheaper and better we're cheaper and better we're cheaper and better you know think about that for a moment do those two words even go together stop for a moment right but I recognize that too, going through research, I'm buying a refrigerator right now. I found out that Maytag or Whirlpool makes Kenmore and all these other products. And so you pay more for this high-end product that essentially has the nuts and bolts of, you know, a freaking cheaper refrigerator. Learn that down the road that a Porsche used to have a Volkswagen engine in it. Go figure, right? Go figure. So you need to do your homework, but cheaper and better don't necessarily go together. So that's why I'm not big on sales scripts. It's a process right? It's a numbers game. I don't think people should be numbers. People are living, breathing, you know, people that, that, that need love, that need understanding, that need support, that want to be part of a tribe. And we were in the position better to do that than anybody. Talk about retention. If you can cultivate that tribe of raving fans, something special people want to be part of. That's powerful, man. That's powerful. Jason, we will reach out to students when we see them missing class with text, videos, postcards, provide the service to our clients and serve my team at all above and beyond. Yeah. And, and, and I've said this many times and you can write this down, put it somewhere. Service is the new profit. And I believe that service is the new profit. You want to be extremely profitable in life, then serve others. Right. Franklin Covey said, you want to be successful, help someone else be successful. I think that's brilliant. I stand by that. And through serving people really well, guess what? I'm much more profitable. Plus, I'm profitable at a heart level. I'm profitable at a spiritual level. I'm profitable at a karmic level. I believe that. How many people have you seen make buttloads of money only to lose it all? Because karmically, they're you know, not a nice person. So I think that goes hand in hand. Yeah, and, and, and you know, we really do. This November, we hope to see you at It's Time McKnight. You know, there's the link there. Get signed up now. Success is something you plan for. And really in our martial arts industry, everybody vouches for that. People book at the last minute. They book at the last minute. They book, you know, you should be planning your whole calendar year. You want to improve your retention? Plan your calendar year. November, we're going to lock down. We try to get at least three to four months ahead, but I'm going to go back to what we used to do. This November, my team and I are going to lock it down for eight hours and we're going to plan out the whole calendar year, the whole thing with dates locked in and everything, month by month by month. And we're going to lock that bad boy in. And because success is something you plan for. Remember the long-term relationship? Well, my, my relationship with success, I want it to be long-term. Long-term, right? And I want to trust I'll continue to be successful if I invest in it. Cool? Let's see, let's see. Nathan, hey, it's happening. Just hop back on busy serving someone that came into the dojong signed up a new student good for you sir all right so where are we at 11 53 because we started the show at one o'clock so i'm serving that one up and then of course we know um make sure you put in your name the name of your school where you're tuning in from if you haven't done that and share this everybody here at instagram everybody here at facebook because we're going to do that drawing we're going to give away how about we do a couple of them You'll get 56 hours of e-learning with me, Brandon Blisa, from every It's Time Live event valued at 99 bucks. 99 bucks. Well, actually, if I had to put a price tag on it, that's probably half a million dollars worth of knowledge in there. Because you can take that and cultivate schools like we have. I believe that. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Hey, Marco. Sorry, I'm so late to the party today. I spent the last three hours consulting with a fellow school owner on what we have done. I can't remember how many times I have said your name and what you've taught me. Thank you, sir. Now, I'm grateful, sir, because, you know, I say it all the time to, to my students. I can't be a great teacher unless you're a great student. Marco and Amy Mazzola are great students, and they follow through on branding. They follow through on everything. So their success is not, I mean, it's not a surprise to me, right? If we share the same values and you trust that, and you trust this relationship as we invest in it, guess what? I will get you there. I will get you there. And Amy and Mark are part of my eight-month mentoring program. 30-day subscription, blah, 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 right there, 90 bucks. And you cancel anytime. Yeah, we, we don't do this ongoing subscription. You pay 99 bucks, you're done for the month. You know, if you want to sign up for another month because you haven't watched anything, you go ahead and do that. Cool, right? But no? Is that how it works? No, there's two options. You get to 129 for just 30 days or 99. 
Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. 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 I get it. See, I don't even know these things because I'm too busy serving. So it's 129 for a 30 day subscription, all 56 hours, or you pay $99 a month and you can cancel anytime. Right. Okay. So yeah, cool, cool, cool. It's kind of like in our school. We only do month to month. People can cancel at any time. All right. So my big takeaways today is that I understand retention is not by definition, possession, control. Retention truly is about investing in a long-term relationship of trust. And every action you take from your intro to your trial classes, to the way you treat the first year student, to the black belt experience, all of it is what's going to improve your retention. It's not any one thing, it's everything that you do, right? And the same thing, you know, when they're going out that door, if you quit on me, I'm going to retain your friendship and make sure that when you leave, I give you lots of love. You get a thank you postcard saying, thank you for allowing us to serve you. If we could have done anything better, let us know. And by the way, we'll be right here if you want to continue your journey. You know when you did it right, because you see them in the shopping mall, they run up to you, they give you a hug, right? But if you did it wrong, right, it's, it's like that, that bad relationship breakup. You see them in the mall and they head the other way. Don't, don't, don't be bad breakup person. Don't be bad breakup person. Be good breakup person because people will break up with you. People will quit your school. But if you leave that door wide open with love, they're going to bring that sibling back to you if and when they're ready. They want to book a birthday party, they'll come back to you. I have kids that come to our day camp that used to be karate students and no, they are no longer. I don't care. You're still contributing to, to the culture of one martial arts. You come into camp at three fifty a week. That works for me all day, every day. You feel me? So please don't burn those bridges. Retention is about investing in a long-term relationship of trust. Whether you're my student or not, I want to invest in that relationship. I do it with the community, Chamber of Commerce, PTA, on and on and on. It's all about that, that investment in the long-term relationship. Cool? One of trust. All right. So let's do this, man. I think I'm ready to do this. You guys ready to win something? Who's ready to win something? Let's see, Adam wants to put in there, just wanted to share, and this time slot is perfect for me. Well, great. You know, we'll see how that goes. We, we try to bounce around a little bit to, to take care of everyone. Ask your current parents' confidence and fitness. Ask your current parents' confidence and fitness. Okay. All right. So, so let's take care of this. Before that, before we run off the air, one time I want to say again, this is Success Never Sleeps. I am and always will be your host, Brandon Beliso. I want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Lots of great learning there. I want you to become part of our Disruptor group page. You can't friend me anymore. My personal page is maxed out. So you can go to the Brandon Bleasel business page. You can go to the Disruptor page. Cool. Think about joining us in November. It's time live Ignite. The reason I love the November event so much is it gets everyone to hit the ground running for January. I'll make sure one of the modules I'll do, write that down, K1, is planning your calendar for 2020. Whoa, right? We'll go through that whole calendar month by month by month. And I'll share with you some of our successful events. We'll leave open spaces for you to write in yours. And we'll go on and on. Cool? I think you'll like that a lot. Uh, so let's do this, right? And then also like I shared, come to Ignite in November. And then think about next year, Mallorca, Spain. What a beautiful island. Mallorca, Spain. And who, who, who am I with? I'm with Melody Johnson. I'm with Roland Osborne. Bam. I mean, I don't think you could ask for a better lineup. And our special guest is Steven Reinstein of Market Muscles, right? There's, we've got all the bases covered, folks, from staff training to culture development to, you know, how to teach kids to social media. I think we got it all right there. And we're going to cover all of that, right? Stay for the four days, though, with me. You know, we go on meditative walks. We go on mind mapping experiences. We develop that success mindset because you know what? No learning will help if you don't have the proper mindset. And we always need to tune up, right? I'm, I'm always tuning up my mind. I fall short every day, but it's no excuse not to get out there and better myself. Go, go, go. All right. Let's do this. The winner, the first winner, we're going to give away three. You get one month of unlimited access to my e-learning products. 56 hours of learning. Things like rotating curriculum, community-based marketing, you know, uh, branding your culture, on and on. The types of things we don't really hear about in the industry, not at this level. Cool, cool, cool. So the first winner is going to be, let's see, who is it? Drum roll. Yeah, I'm waiting for it. Where is it, K1? Oh, Jason Smith highly recommends the four days. Yeah, he's done it. And I work with Jason too. Absolutely. 
I'm waiting for K1 to give me the winner. The first winner is winner number one of the 56 hours of Brandon Bliso e-learning products are... Mm-hmm. It's there, but it's not showing. It's there, but it's not showing. I've heard that excuse before. <laughs> no, look, it's there. So here we go. Who, who's the winner? Tell me. Nathan Cantu. Oh, Nathan. Nathan Cantu. Nathan Cantu. Hey, Grandmaster, sir, you just won. You have 56 hours of learning. Learning. 56 hours of learning. Awesome. You're our first winner. Disruptors, give him some love to Nathan Cantu. Give him love, please. Right? We celebrate everybody's success. If I want to be successful, I celebrate other people's success. Cool, cool, cool. Right? I want to see a disruptor say, congratulations, Nathan. Congratulations, Nathan. Are you seeing it on yours? No, I'm going to type it in. There it is. Steph just gave it to us. Good. Everyone's still there. Nathan. Congratulations, Nathan. All right. We're going to have more winners, though. More winners. Don. Yay. Nathan. Woo-hoo. Jason, yeah. Cool, okay? So let's get our next winner, K1. Three is my magic number. Three. One, two, three. Okay, who, who's the next one? Fatlana, Jeremy. What's happening, Jeremy? I didn't know you were there. Hey, Adina, I didn't know you were there. Who's our next winner, K1? It says, congratulations, Nathan, on, on my chart. Uh, on the screen? Oh, uh, my oh winner, Steph Gilbert. Watch well, right there on the screen. I like that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. We'll have to do that more often. Our second winner, Steph Gilbert. Yay, everybody give Steph love. Steph, give Steph some love. Stephanie, good for you, man. The goal is you got to watch it. Going to make you nuts. 56 hours of me. Congratulations, Steph. Thank you, Jason. Supporting each other, disruptors. Always, always, always. Great, sir. I came on late. Thanks for the great content. You're welcome, Jeremy, sir. Absolutely. Watch it, watch it, and watch it some more. Steph, good. And you'll be able to go back and watch this one. Does this go to YouTube, this one, this yes. show? This show is on YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. All of our Success Never Sleep shows are there. Are they all there? Mm -hmm. Wow. You've loaded them all, K1? The big ones. The big ones. Good. Okay, our third winner. Who's our third winner today? I get to see it up on the screen. Winner, Adam Parker. Dun, 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 dun. Our third winner is Adam Parker. So three winners today. Nathan Cantu, Steph Gilbert, and Adam Parker. Hook up with K1. We'll give you unlimited access for 30 days to 56 hours of every one of my events. It's time. It's time live. It's time again. It's time empowered. It's time anytime you want all the time. All of them are there. Cool? 56 hours. All right. Congrats. Congrats. I love it. Disruptors in the house, always giving love. So retention is one of the things I believe makes us human. And we recognize the relationships of value and we want to be a part of their lives, whether it's for a day, whether it's for a week, whether it's for a year, and we stop thinking about controlling and possession under the true definition of retention, and we flip the script, we flip our mindset to, you know, I want to invest in this relationship long-term, right? A relationship of trust. And then I have to really backpedal on that though, because what is long-term? All we got is today. And that's why I choose not to do month, you know, we choose to do month-to-month -month contracts. Contracts? We do month to month memberships instead of long term contracts. I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten breakfast yet today, folks. I've just been going. That's why we choose to do month to month because I know if each and every day I serve you well, you will choose to stay with me on, on your own. And if you don't, then guess what? It wasn't meant to be. That relationship was not meant to be. So if you know that, but if you're going to try to control somebody, possess somebody with a long term contract, by sitting them in an office and saying, what kind of parent are you? Because you let your child quit. Man, that's not a relationship. That's a fear-based mindset of possession and control that's concerned about one thing and one thing only, getting the sale and keeping that money coming in. Cool? All right. Hey, this is Brandon Beliso. This has been Success Never Sleeps. I want to thank everybody for being here today at one o'clock. Hey, and thank you to my sponsors, My Studio, the app. If you're not using it, get it. 
Kids love life skills. If you're not using it, get it. We need great character development. And I pride myself on over a decade of developing this and nurturing this system of character development. See accounting. My sister, who's a great accountant, a bookkeeper, I should say, if you need her services, look her up. So thank you to all my sponsors for allowing me to do what I do. That's important. Nobody censors me. Nobody, well, you can tell nobody censors me, uh, <laughs> but I do what I do. And I do it from a place of service. I do it from a place of love. And it really is. I want to help you. I want to help small businesses. I want to help companies live your best life. That's all I do. And I'm committed to that passionately. All right. Success to ever sleeps, folks. I'm off to Disneyland, but I'll see you all next Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Cool, cool, cool. Until we talk again, please, you go out there, live your best life.